I apologize for the shit mic quality. Uh, I'm gonna be doing a voiceover on my video because uh, my PC is having problems with my mic. So let's get started. To start off, you're gonna need these three applications the custom resolution utility, the uh, ATI driver patcher and the uh, restart 64 application this is gonna come bundled with the uh, custom resolution utility links will be in the description launch the patcher and patch the values and press yes you're gonna get a prompt that the drivers have been successfully patched and then launch custom resolution utility yes and then you're gonna have to uh, add a extension block which is at the uh, bottom of the <coughs> application this is gonna be empty usually so anyways press add and then add a detailed resolution of your monitor whatever monitor you have and then put the highest refresh rate that your monitor can do mine can do 75 hertz so i am putting 75 hertz over here and then press ok you may have a 4k monitor or a 1440 just put in whatever you have and then add a, the uh, hdmi support option enable the uh, supported graphics content types press graphics photo cinema and game enable all them and leave everything as it is press ok and then add the uh, free sync range of 24 to 60 hertz now i want to make something clear over here you may have a 120 hertz monitor or a 144 hertz monitor whatever you have put 60 hertz over there and it's automatically gonna select the uh, free sync range to uh, it's gonna match the uh, free sync range with your monitor re refresh rate now if you have audio output on your monitor select this audio formats option and add the uh, 7.1 surround sound press ok OK again and OK, then press OK again. Now press the restart 64. Launch it and press yes. This is going to restart your graphics driver. You're going to get two black screens and then everything's going to be back to normal. Now you're going to launch the AMD Radeon software sorry you're gonna launch display settings go to advanced display settings and make sure that your monitor is at the highest re supported refresh rate press apply and okay close that then launch the amd radeon software now you're gonna have to enable this individually for each game and make sure that you have 19.12.3 because it's very buggy with the previous drivers this method so i'm gonna go with ac origins over here now you have to make sure that anti-lag and enhanced sync are turned on and radeon free sync is turned on make sure you Make sure that you turn on Radeon FreeSync in the uh, global display section of the driver of the uh, control panel. This control panel is very confusing. I still haven't gotten used to it. Go to global display and make sure that Radeon FreeSync is turned on. Virtual super resolution is turned off. This is important. And make sure GPU scaling is disabled now let's 
launch the game, I guess. What am I doing? Yeah, we're launching the game. Oh, I forgot to mention a important thing that you also have to do to make sure that you don't get visual tearing. You're gonna have to enable the super sampling method in the anti-aliasing option. Select super sampling. You have to restart the game. Make sure this is very important. Make sure that you have super sampling enabled. Let's launch the game. Sorry for that. Someone came in my house. Anyways, launch the game. So uh, some people have been having issues like black screens and monitor failures. I have tried explaining in the comments why this happens. This usually happens when the refresh rate of your game does not match the refresh rate of your monitor. So if you are having this problem, I want you to turn off your game, go to your control panel, turn off Radeon FreeSync, launch the game, set the refresh rate in your game to the highest possible value, then close the game again, turn on Radeon FreeSync and launch the game again. That's gonna fix it. As you can see, I have 75 Hz set on mine. And make sure VSync is turned off, that is important. And dynamic resolution as well. On the uh, top right corner of the screen, you can see the uh, frame rate. It's going to fluctuate between 40 and 60 FPS. So let's wear a little stressful outfit just so we can get lower frames. And let's travel to Siva. Siva is the, the most stressful area in this game. And the frames are messed up. They're sometimes 25 FPS as well. Again, I apologize for the shit mic quality. I'm recording with my phone. On the bottom right of the screen, oh, I turned it off. Anyways, you can see that the uh, frame rate is fluctuating between 50 and 60 FPS rapidly. Let's go into the middle of the town. That part is very stressful. Just don't die, please. If you die, I have to redo this over again. Okay. So we are about to hit 40 FPS very soon. I'm gonna turn on the uh, end game frame meter in a bit. As you can see, we're gonna fluctuate between 40 to 60 FPS now. It's gonna drop to 30 as, as well. And there is no screen tearing going on. You can see on the bottom right of the screen. So anyways, basically the point is it works and it works for my monitor at least. It may or may not work for your monitor. But you can, if, if it works, then it's great. If it doesn't work, then I'm sorry. I don't know what to do. You, you can try poking around with the... Uh, Custom resolution utility, try a few things out for yourself. 
and if you're getting monitor failures even after doing whatever I just showed you just press the uh, reset all application that's gonna reset your data blocks and reset the uh, patched drivers this uh, this will also come bundled with the uh, custom resolution utility uh, I'm gonna say this again it may or may not work with your monitor but it does work for ViewSonic monitors apparently so if anyone has a ViewSonic monitor I'm gonna be linking my configuration file in the uh, description you can download it and select the import option